today we're going to talk about buzzes and bumps, neither of which are a great thing to have on the harp. You're fine if you're a bee and you want to buzz, but not a harpist. And I find that there's a great um, exercise that Judy Loman came up with called the anti-buzzing exercise. And I'm just going to turn the camera a bit like this. So you can see it's like this, and then you come back like this. And the reason it's called the anti-buzzing exercise is because if you come back like this, your nail is going to hit that string and you're going to have a buzz. Avoid it is to come all the way into your palm and then come out from underneath, let it fall out, and the first thing that's going to hit it is the front right here, which is your dampener. It's just like the uh, the dampener on a on a piano, the red felt. Think of this as having red felt on it. And you're not going to buzz. And I'm doing this in the right hand because you can see it better. it's a little more difficult because the strings have more of a wide amplitude. But the same thing applies. And what I'm doing is I'm just stopping the string before I hit it on the way. But at the last second. Another thing that happens with harpists a lot is bumping, like running into a string, for example when you're doing a crossing. If you don't get this one on placed before you play the last the thumb, you're going to run into it, maybe. But like if you place it at the last second, you might have this. And the other thing that happens is sometimes your wrist is too far forward and you're going to get this. So if that happens, just pull your elbow back and make sure you are on this string before you play that one. And another one that where you can have a bump is when you're doing something like this. before you play your thumb, and then get this third finger on before you play that one. So you're timing it exactly. So these ones, that's why you always have to practice slowly, because uh, that way you can watch out for your placings. It's all about the timing. So good luck.